Have you ever looked up at the sky and wondered about the fastest flying machines ever created? Your curiosity is about to take you on an extraordinary journey into the thrilling world of aviation. Get ready to fasten your seatbelts as we unveil the SR-72, a mind-blowing successor to the legendary Blackbird aircraft. Welcome to our channel, Military Knowledge, where we become your expert guides on a quest to unravel the mysteries of the skies. Get ready to soar through history and into the future of aviation like never before. The SR-71 Blackbird. This amazing plane was designed by a famous American engineer named Clarence Kelly Johnson. The SR-71 Blackbird came from a super-secret project that marked the start of American air superiority. It combined unmatched stealth and incredible speed. Welcome to Military Knowledge, where we explore the secrets of the sky. This jet, the SR-71 Blackbird, is mainly built from titanium, which is one of the toughest metals ever discovered. It makes up 92% of the plane, which cost a whopping $292 million. Using titanium was crucial to keep the plane stealthy, which is super important for a spy plane like this one. The SR-71 could gather intelligence in different ways, like taking pictures, picking up signals, collecting data, and recognizing specific patterns. It had special sensors for this, plus a radar that could look to the side and a high-quality camera. The Blackbird could fly incredibly fast, up to Mach 3.2, that's more than three times the speed of sound, and reach an altitude of 85,000 feet. It did this thanks to two powerful engines made by Pratt Whitney, each producing 32,000 pounds of thrust. The pilots had to wear special pressurized suits similar to what astronauts wear because they flew so high, almost reaching space. That's why NASA, the space experts, also used the SR-71 alongside the US Air Force. The SR-71 didn't have any weapons because it didn't need them. When faced with missiles or gunfire, it could simply go faster and outrun them. That's why no SR-71 Blackbird was ever shot down during its impressive 33-year operational life. Even though it retired more than 20 years ago, it still holds the records for being the fastest and highest flying operational aircraft in history. Until the SR-72 came into the picture, there was no other aircraft that could match the SR-71's incredible capabilities. Now, the United States is looking for an aircraft as unbeatable as the Blackbird, especially as the military strength of countries like Russia and China continues to grow. This is where the SR-72 comes in. Lockheed Martin quietly proposed it in 2013 as a replacement for the SR-71. The SR-72 has a tough task ahead of it if it wants to become the new, most resilient American aircraft in history. The SR-72 is more than just Lockheed Martin's proposal. It's a potential cornerstone for American air superiority in the coming years. Unlike its predecessor, the SR-71, the SR-72 is designed to defend itself with advanced weaponry, including hypersonic missiles and directed energy weapons. It's armed with a range of weapons, from traditional guns and explosives to futuristic laser-directed energy weapons. Additionally, it can work alongside dedicated wingman drones equipped with surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities. Just like the SR-71, the SR-72 will boast state-of-the-art sensors and high-quality cameras capable of capturing photographs spanning an impressive 100 miles in a single frame. These are just a glimpse of the SR-72's remarkable capabilities that will leave both friends and foes astonished. And there's more where that came from, many more. The SR-72 is expected to incorporate some of the most advanced technologies ever seen, including stealth features. It's a potential candidate for the US Air Force's next generation NGAD fighter, set to redefine aerial combat. Stealth technology has been around for just one generation of fighters, but it's here to stay. The NGAD fighter aims to maximize its stealth by adopting an overall triangular shape, internally storing its payload and eliminating traditional tail portions known as vertical stabilizers. This revolutionary design is a first in fighter aircraft history. In the past, vertical stabilizers were essential to keep an aircraft in the air. 
However, the introduction of active flow control, as seen in the B2 Spirit, changed the game. Active flow control uses on-board computers to continuously adjust the airflow around the aircraft, just like how birds fly. This innovation provides top-notch stealth capabilities, albeit at a considerable cost. This partially explains why the SR-72 development cost NASA $1 billion and the B-22 billion dollars. Why Congress has allocated more than $10 billion for the Air Force's NGAD program in less than 10 years. And why the Navy recently unveiled a budget request of more than $9 billion for the next five years. Before moving forward, if you're as fascinated by aviation as we are, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update on these incredible aircraft. Advanced Sensors and Weapons As the NGAD fighter, the SR-72's immediate environs will be miles wide because it will be able to detect enemies, allies and areas of interest from tens of miles away. The sensors that enable this have the highest level of connectivity, enabling them to share their data with every other ship in the fleet, regardless of whether they are sixth generation or not, keeping the whole US fleet up to date with pertinent information in real time. The United States would replace the radars that are placed on aeroplanes with smart skins that are electrically configurable and built into the fuselage. As a result, network adaptability and sensor sensitivity both rise. Additionally, it facilitates fleet-wide communication, which eventually enhances remote control. Open Architecture – Laser Guns with Unparalleled Precision for Eliminating Targets A combination of high-performance weapons, missiles, and AETP engines with a $6 billion development cost that can fly at subsonic, transonic, and supersonic speeds. On the fighter, you can count on dependable wingmen, top-notch electronic warfare countermeasures, avionics and communications, to name a few things. However, despite these improvements, decades of experience have taught the United States that there is always opportunity for improvement in aircraft, regardless of how advanced they already are, particularly when near-peer enemies become more and more competitive. The fighter will therefore have an open architecture that enables it to swiftly and readily adopt new upgrades. The result would be the closest thing to a fully hypersonic aircraft that is currently possible, with an estimated unit cost of $1 billion and a top speed of Mach 6. As we conclude our exploration of these incredible aircraft, the Hermes Quarter Horse, SR-71 Blackbird and SR-72 Son of Blackbird, let's ponder the future of hypersonic aviation. What do you envision for the world of hypersonic travel? Share your thoughts in the comments below.